Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 255. In today's episode, Amazon gives incentives to start your delivery biz. As Amazon grows, so must its delivery partners. The e-commerce giant has been slowly laying the groundwork the last few years to sidestep USPS, UPS, and FedEx by building its own logistics and delivery network. Amazon took another step in that direction last week with a program to foster the creation of homegrown package delivery services that will help the company expand its delivery capabilities. According to Wednesday's announcement, the new project involves delivery companies picking up packages from one of Amazon's more than 75 delivery centers across the U.S. and taking the packages the last mile to shoppers' homes. The program gives new partner companies discounted rates on fuel, insurance, and delivery vans, as well as expert guidance and driver training from Amazon. There's even a logistics app to assist delivery people which order should be dropped off when. As part of the service launch, partner companies can take advantage of incentives like leasing new Amazon-branded vans, as well as uniforms for their drivers. Amazon states that the partners can start their homegrown delivery services with as little as a $10,000 investment. Amazon will also allocate up to $1 million for delivery businesses led by military veterans in the form of $10,000 grants to each chosen business. While it looks from the outside that Amazon is looking to take business away from the big three delivery companies, the folks at Amazon insist that is not their intent. Dave Clark, Amazon's Vice President of Worldwide Operations, said the initiative is about planning for a future of rapid e-commerce growth. Meeting our capacity needs five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years out in the future is going to require lots of incremental capacity for delivery, Clark said. The move is the latest step by Amazon to control more of the delivery logistics from distribution center to the customer. Amazon's delivery service partners is just another part of the company's own logistics network. It already has 7,000 of its own trucks and 40 airplanes, which along with external delivery partners, shipped more than 5 billion prime items last year. Whoa. Whoa. This is kind of cool. I like this. I like this. Instead of being an Uber driver, just become a delivery driver. Well, there was a stat given. The company says that delivery partners can make up to $300,000 in annual profit. That is nothing to sneeze at. What? That's crazy. Yeah. John, we no longer do what we do. We <laughs> I'm buying me an Amazon truck. I'm buying me an Amazon truck too. So think Hell. about it. You could just, I mean, you put, put some scratch money together, find a couple friends who like to drive and uh, you're in business. Yeah, I know somebody who likes to drive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get my brother, you get your father. We put all these people to work. <laughs> right? Like, come on. It's like, it's perfect. <laughs> so the message here is that they're not replace. that they don't in- ever intend to replace USPS or UPS or FedEx or DHL. They're, they're augmenting. They're augmenting their services. As, as the one quote stated, as they grow, the other companies aren't going to be able to scale up as much just to serve Amazon. So they've got to serve their interests, you know, first, because that's the bottom line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're, I mean, the top big three, they're already having issues with scaling. Right. Like, let's enough, just, let's just know. see what happens this holiday season. <laughs> Forget it. That's going to be a nightmare. I mean, that's why I think Amazon has started looking for their own solution and, you know, everybody's afraid of it. It's like, no worries. I mean, they're, they might have it. They're not going to fully replace it with, with anything else. I mean, that, that takes, that would take forever. Yeah, that's going to take a long time. And they're, they've been lining up the logistics, and I think this is just another another piece in the puzzle. Right. What's really cool, though, if, if you wanted to go out and start a business, I mean, this is this is really a great opportunity. There's only – I mean, there's, there's a few caveats to this. They basically say, we'll help you start your business. Uh, we'll give you all the branding and everything. But if you choose to 
deliver outside of the Amazon ecosystem, you can't use the branding and you can't use the vans. So let's just say you start with one van and you get an Amazon van, you lease an Amazon van. You could say if it starts to scale up, you buy another truck and it's just not an Amazon truck. People don't care as long as their packages get to them. Um, but there are some caveats. Um, there's a few requirements at business part of the program, they must offer paid time off and healthcare plans to employees. Bravo, Amazon for that. I know that that would probably stop a lot of people from doing this because that just that cost right there. Um, but I think that's good for Amazon. I mean, that's, that's a good thing by Amazon. Oh, it's definitely a great thing for them. I mean, it's, hey, they need to provide health insurance. Why not? I mean, it's not really that hard, actually. Yeah. So we've seen, you know, we're, we're looking at these last mile delivery solutions. Like they have the Amazon Flex, which uses the Uber or Lyft drivers. Um, I think within Walmart, they had their thing. I think they just stopped the grocery delivery of that. So we're going to see some innovative solutions for, you know, that, that quote unquote last mile here. Um, but I think this is real interesting because it's, it's good business opportunity. Uh, it's opportunity for vets to get, geez, I mean, they put a million dollars aside and they're putting at $10,000 grants. That's, that's, that's pretty huge. So something good for the vets. Um, yeah, I don't see anything bad about this. I think I, I, that that's amazing for that too. It's like, why not get into a business that you can and, and you know, that training is pretty easy. And if you look at it this way, if they do this right and roll it out almost like a franchise, this becomes another business for them and they'll make money in this other way as well. <laughs> as always. One day they'll be carrying all of our packages. Mm. Pretty interesting. All right. Got anything else? Um, keep on driving. Keep on driving. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.